Well, hey guys, glad you're here. I want to rant for a little bit because I like to rant. I have a lot on my mind. Uh, we're not going to talk about the thing that you think I'm going to talk about because I kind of feel like if I talk about it, I'm going to lose. Uh, I'm just going to lose it <laughs> to tell you right now. Um, so I, I, I was actually, actually going to use this as a, um, a long form daily bits, but we don't really need a long form daily bits. The daily bits, the whole purpose is having an eight to 10 minute video, something to start your day with, usually something positive or negative. Um, I'm trying to change things up, maybe start talking about news stories and stuff like that, which one of the biggest right now, which actually, actually, we will talk about that for the daily bits. I got to record the daily bits. <laughs> I do. But I do want to talk about something really cringy, something that's um, all too familiar in this part of YouTube. Now, this isn't new. This isn't a new thing. We got our buddy. We got our buddy Rogue. He's with us. This isn't new. Uh, YouTube, for the most part, you think about it, it's fairly, fairly new. Maybe 20, 20 some years old, something like that. Um, you know, it's basically still the wild, wild west when it comes to content creation, uh, especially to do with the law. Now, not not meaning there's law channels. I'm meaning um, the law problems, I guess. Um, I, I'm, I'm thinking back, it was in the 70s, I think, when there was a copyright uh, fair use act that was established. I, I think it was in the 70s. Don't get... Don't don't take my word for it. I could be wrong. I you know I'm not going to pretend I know the law because I don't. I'm not a constitutional law scholar. <laughs> Maybe I am. Maybe I should be. Um, so fair use, fair use. What is it? In my opinion, and in most cases, in a lot of people's opinions, especially in on YouTube's TOS, uh, I think the FCC, uh, it's clearly defined. Now, I'll go ahead and break it down for you. One one small way. So, let's go ahead and say I make a video about, I don't know, Dolly Parton. And uh, I take clips from maybe a music video. Thank you, Rogue. I love you, bro. <laughs> maybe Chili can sue Rogue. I, 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 make a, I make a video about Dolly Parton, right? And I make a transformative where I'm talking about... I don't know, how well she sings, her history, uh, something like that. Unless it's clearly defined in a video, and I think you have to have a copyright. I, I don't know how it works, okay? I don't, I'm not an expert. Um, you can use that as fair use because it's transformative. I've always been told, and the way I've read it, ever since I heard about the first YouTube adpocalypse, which I don't know if you guys remember that, uh, we had a lot of this stuff, a lot of this stuff going on. One of the biggest cases was H3, H3 versus some some idiot that's very similar to Chili. I think he had a fitness channel and he was just a giant douchebag. Don't know the name. Don't care. Um, just like most of these cases, most of these cases, probably about 99.9% .9 unless you're facing some big giant corporation like Disney or I don't know, uh, something like that. Most of the time you're going to win. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of taxpayers' money, one thing. And it's probably the cringiest thing you could do on the internet. Um, if you had any shred of credibility and you decide to file a lawsuit against somebody that made a video about you that was completely transformative and only had a few of your clips with them actually talking about things, you're a fucking idiot. You're a pussy. It just it is what it is. If you do that, if you do that. And there's a lot of cases where people done that. They say, oh, it was, it's not fair use. He was using it without my permission. Well, you don't really need somebody's permission to use their content unless it's completely copyrighted. And I don't think Chili Sup's been copyrighted. I don't think he has a copyright for delete laws. You don't see any copyright uh, stuff on his videos, um, which I don't think it would really stop him if you're being transformative. Um, you don't really need permission. The news does this all the time. Uh, YouTube is basically, when you're doing transformative stuff like that, it's usually like the news. You know, you get on, turn your TV on, Channel 3 or whatever, at WSAZ comes on, uh, your favorite anchor comes on, it's like, oh yeah, the 
the the Marshall University just beat the hell out of uh, two Siamese cats that were just fighting, and the Siamese cats won the football game. And they had video of Marshall football team chasing down Siamese cats that are winning the football team. I don't know how football works, okay? I'm not a footballer. I'm I'm a nerd. I'm a big giant nerd. <laughs> giant, <laughs> big, huge. Um, you, you've seen this a lot. You've seen this a lot back in the day. And it seems with the advent of like all these sovereign citizens, these First Amendment auditors, where they think they know the law, and some of them do. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to say that all First Amendment auditors are bad. Uh, I don't understand them. I don't, but I know that not all of them, all of them are bad. Some people actually know the law, no change. Uh, in Chile's case, he doesn't know the law. He print, pretends he's an actor. You got to remember. Chile is an actor. He's not a constitutional law scholar. He is as much as a constitutional law scholar as I am a brain surgeon. Now, I'm not a brain surgeon, but that, what's stopping me from going outside, walking down the street, and be like, hey, I'm a brain surgeon. I'm a brain surgeon. Look at me. Most people are going to look at me and think, hey, you're fucking stupid. You're not a brain surgeon. Chile didn't go to college. He didn't go learn his stuff. He actually said this a lot in a lot of his videos, but he doesn't really know anything. He's kind of dumb. The only thing he knows what to do, how to do, is file lawsuits, which he's not very good at that either, because you can file a lawsuit. Anybody can file a lawsuit. A baby just coming out of the womb can get out and file a federal lawsuit, only if you fundraise $400. Uh, it's fucking stupid. It's fucking stupid. You know, it, it doesn't cost, in the scheme of things, it doesn't cost a lot of money. $400 is a lot of money. But in the scheme of things, compared to what the other person has to pay, and this is what Chili's doing. He's filing lawsuits using, like, some kind of slap thing. I don't know the whole meaning of that. I, again, I'm not a constitutional law scholar, but neither is Chili. Um, you know, <laughs> uh, it's stupid. I keep on losing track. I got so much stuff on my mind. So much on my mind, it fucking hurts. Like, it hurts. Just everything. I, I had a breakdown uh, on my wife Friday. I, she came in. I was a nervous wreck. And I had a breakdown. And she had to see me just at my worst. Not mad. I wasn't angry. I was just sad. There's just a lot of stuff on my mind. Uh, so I'm going to lose track from time to time. You guys know what's going on. Where did we leave off? Where did we leave off? Yeah, Chili's a bitch. That's that's where we left off. <laughs> but any, anyways, anyways, uh, Chili's not a constitutional law scholar. Like I said, he's he's no more of a constitutional law scholar than I am a brain surgeon. And if I wanted to, like I said, I could say I'm a brain surgeon and go to a hospital and like, hey, look at me, nurse, I'm a brain surgeon. Let me cut this guy open. I know exactly what to do while dissecting his foot. I'm like, this is the brain. I know it's the brain. This neuro, neuropathy, right? No, no, it's brain, stupid. Um, <laughs> I, I'm not, a, obviously, I'm not, I'm obviously not a brain surgeon. So there we go. Just like Chile's not a constitutional law scholar. Um, you know, it, it's the cringiest, cringiest thing. As we've talked about this before, guys, it's the cringiest thing on the platform when you have people that think they're whole high horse, they know everything, uh, they know the law front and back, or they think they're some kind of fucking alpha male, which, let's go and face it, most of these people that say they're alpha males, they're not alpha males. They're just pussies. That's all there is. That's all it is. So if somebody you know, comes up to you that's not stacked, well, I mean, they could be stacked, but you, know, you can still be stupid and stacked. Um, and say they're a fucking alpha male, they're not. You don't. If you're an alpha male, you would know it. You would know. You'd be walking in and be like, "Holy shit, that guy's an alpha. That guy is pure alpha." Whenever somebody says like Andrew Tate or Chili says he's an alpha male, that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. As one thing, it's the funniest thing I ever heard. Just because you have money like Andrew Tate and Chili just lives on other people's couches and has to beg for money on the internet, um, you know. I guess Andrew Tate's more of an alpha than uh, Chili, okay? Um, 
you know, if somebody says they're an alpha, they're not a fucking alpha, okay? You, you guys know this. Well, you guys know the drill. You guys know the drill. But fair use is not complicated. It's really not. In the scheme of things, it's not. Um, it'd be different if some people were just taking Chili's entire video he puts out, any video or stream, puts nothing behind it. Let's just say Irish Demon. Uh, I love you, Irish. Let's say Irish Demon, what he does, he'll bring up a stream or bring up a video, and he has himself, he has himself in the corner here, and he's talking about this stuff as it's going on. He stops it and says, this is happening uh, it's kind of like a play-by-play, -play, uh, and he's putting commentary behind it. Uh, that's fair use. That's fair use because he's not just throwing his video out there and saying, oh, here it is, with no transformative information on it, no commentary. That would be the problem. That's that's where Chile would have some type of case, which Chile doesn't have a case. Most of these auditors, let's face it, they don't. Uh, you put a camera in their faces, they squirm like bitches. That's just how it goes. We've seen this all over the place. Like, these people that record the cops and somebody comes and records them, you see them deteriorate. You've seen it happen whenever I met Chili. Chili couldn't help himself. He was trying to please his audience, and here I am, some fat guy from Ironton, Ohio, recording some douchebag that came from California and thinks he knows... You know, everything there is to know about Ironton and the law, like, he fucking deteriorated. The only thing he could say to me, the only thing, I used the same trick on him. I said, hey, I'm here using my constitutional right to protest you. Because I was. I was clearly protesting. I wasn't stalking you. I was protesting you. That's what I was doing. That's why I even said I was using my constitutional right as a protester. And that's what I did. It came. And I got called a fat, rude, fat ass by your boyfriend, Keith or Kenneth. Is that his name? I don't know. Just my opinion. Your boyfriend. Let's just face it. The guy you were sleeping with when he was hired. That's my opinion, too. I don't know if he was or not. Uh, but I'm going to keep throwing it out there because I don't know. I never will know. Unless you say you didn't. Unless Kenneth said he didn't. But he's not. Neither one of you are not. It, 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 Kenneth has... He's going to say that just as much as you are going to say you're not buying subs. Which you are. Funny thing, funny thing. Okay, again, this is all opinions, guys. I can't prove it. But I, I did some research. I did some research. I did a lot of research. I've been doing a lot of research. Uh, take a look at Social Blade and analytics on Chili's channel. Uh, Chili gains about 1,000 subscribers every week. 1,000. Let's, let's, let's face that. Let's just talk about it. 1,000. Uh, you take a look at some of the views on these videos. He gets a lot of views on some of these videos. Hardly any interaction, but when you go into some of the interactions, they're all very generic, very bodish, and this exists. Now, Chili's not going to come out and say he's not buying subscribers because he knows he is. He knows he is. He is buying views. He is buying subscribers. It's easy to see it. Any YouTuber that took a look at his channel and says, wow, you don't really have much retention here. You don't have much uh, any activity going on here. Uh, except for some people saying, we love you, Chili, we love you, Chili, and are saying the same thing over and over just by different accounts. Um, I, uh, was it was it a live stream you did the other day when only 60 people showing up, and here you are at 110,000 subscribers? Chili, come on. Come on, bud. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. If you, if you, was, really, if you was really not buying subscribers, you'd have a whole lot more activity going on. I see smaller channels. I, I get more activity, and I don't get very many views anymore. But I still get more activity than you when it comes to a percentile. It's true. You know, I get activity on my stuff, even my wall stuff. You know, we can all inflate our stuff. I, you, you can actually go on the Internet right now and look for services that buys views, that buy subscribers. These aren't real. In the long run... What's going to happen is eventually Chili's channel will hit 1 million subscribers, if it ever does. Chili might not be making any money because nobody's watching these videos uh, or liking or stuff. But you can buy all this stuff, guys. You can buy you can buy fame. It's easy. It's easy. You just got to have the money. Chili, how Chili does it is he fundraises or gets his subscribers to do stuff and he buys his things. It's my opinion. I think I'm pretty sure it's true. And if it's not, 
If it's not true, Shilly, fucking prove it. Don't be a bitch. And prove it. But again, we're back on fair use. Um, you know, it's it's easy to explain. Easy to explain. Uh, you can start a YouTube channel today and make a video about me, about this same video, using my clips. And you're right here in the corner, or you're coming on the screen and being transformative. One, I'm not going to sue you. Even if you call me a, a poop eater that eats poop, uh, I'm not going to sue you for it. Because you have the right to make that video and be transformative. There's nothing you're doing that's wrong. A, I might not like it because who wants to be called a shit eater on the internet? So, I mean, yeah, it does cut, that does go out on the outside. But, you know, you, you made the video. Now, if you said, like, oh, he does it, and it's a fact, and he's seen it, and i never done it, and I'm like, well, that's definitely defamation. Uh, but every anytime I make a comment on something like that, every single video, every video I make about chili or something like that, what's the one thing I do? I say it's my opinion, because it is my opinion, ultimately. It's my opinion. And that's how you protect yourself, guys. You protect yourself by being opinionated. State it. So when Chili comes to your channel, it's like, oh, you're using my shit. And you're like, you said he he's a gay, you know, fisherman, but uh, likes getting blow jobs from sharks. I, I, I don't know. Uh, and that's just my opinion. You're safe. You're safe. Chili. It's like, oh, well, I can't sue you for that now. Can't see you for that. Um, just, just be careful. It's because you are going to have stupid people that's going to try to sue you and attack you on a regular basis because they don't know how fair use works. My worry, and this is my worry, this is a big worry. Um, you know, we already had the adpocalypse. That's happened. It's been a long time. I don't know if you guys heard of it or not. A lot of sponsors moved away. A lot of a lot of people got kicked off the channel. They got demonetized. And that happens now. Now, what I see happening in the future, and there's a lot of evidence pointing this will happen, is YouTube is going to crack down again. And it's going to be on a lot of channels like my channel, Chili's channel, Irish Demon's channel, Sovereign Citizen channel. They're going to be like, hey, you cover these guys that are actually harassing people or putting misinformation out. Um, which Chile is putting out a lot of misinformation, just like the other sovereign citizens and auditors. They're putting a lot of f false information out. YouTube is going to clamp down, and there's not going to be channels like that anymore. And actually, what's going to happen is it's going to be really hard to be a YouTube partner. They could do away with that altogether if they wanted to, and only keep the biggest channels. Um, you know, you hear big channels losing, uh, losing partnership, especially on Twitch. And I'd hate that. I, I'm a YouTube partner. I don't make any money. I, I was making a little bit of money whenever uh, I was, um, you know, getting more views, but not now. <laughs> uh, and I'm willing to admit that. I'm willing to admit that. Views aren't what they used to be. Uh, but again, a lot of people are tired of this. A lot of people are moving on. They're moving on. They're moving away. They're like, okay, this is cringe. Because people see that, hey, this is cringy. I don't know how somebody in their mind would think that, oh, I'm going to follow this great guy that knows the law that's suing everybody because they got their, he got his feelings hurt. I don't know how you can support that. That's the biggest pile of shit ever. It's like buying a Chinese pack of Pokemon cards. And I'm not talking about legit Pokemon cards. I'm talking about the $1 packs you find at the flea market. And you're thinking, oh, these are all real. I got a Charizard. Take it and it's actually made out of, I don't know. Confetti, or uh, I don't know. That's a that's a bad way to compare it, but it's true. It's true. Like, why would you support that? Why would you support somebody that is so butt hurt because somebody said something about them on the internet? That doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Like, I was picked on a lot as a kid, uh, especially in like high school and stuff. I got picked on. I still get picked on. Like, me and my friends will call each other gay all the time or uh, call each other bitches. One of the things we do, that's we like to insult each other. That's what we do. That's what we do. I have people that insult me all the time. I'm not going to fucking sue you because of it. I'm not. If we're walking down the street and you said, hey, four eyes, lose some weight. Yeah, I might hurt my feelings because I don't have four eyes. But, but 
I'm not going to sue you because of that. Even if you put that interaction on the internet, I'm not going to do that. Because A, I have morals. B, I'm not a pussy. And I'm not a cringe. I am a cringe lord. I am a cringe lord. <laughs> I am a cringe lord. It is what it is. Can't help it. But I'm not going to sue you for it because I, I myself, I do have dignity. I do have an inner person that's kind of in control sometimes. My brain's usually in control and that's why it gets me in trouble. Try not to I'm not I'm trying not to rant because I do that a lot. You guys even spotted it out, you guys. I, I like I like ranting. It's fun. It's really fun. But anyways, like I said, the the cringiest thing you can do on YouTube or Twitch is copyright strike someone. That's one. That's number one. Or sue somebody for fair use. That's number two. Or say you're a fucking alpha male. That's number three. And most important, most importantly, is saying you're a fucking sovereign citizen. That's cringy too. Guys, I love you very much. You may disagree with me. That's fine. I like to talk to you guys. I mainly wanted to make this video just to clear my head. I do love making content. I love making content. It makes me feel good. It makes me happy. It makes me happy. Um, you know, covering chili sometimes just makes me happy. Uh, we can say we can say all we want about Chili, but he is kind of entertaining in a train wreck kind of way. And he is entertaining. I, I give him that. If anything he's done, he's actually brought a lot of people together. So, if, you know, Chili could stop right now and take it in, reflect, and be like, you know what? I can use this platform for good. I can bring people together. People hated me. They hated what I was doing, and they came together, and they fought it, and here we are. We have dozens of channels covering it. And guess what? We don't know each other that much, but you know what? I can talk to Irish Demon. Uh, you know, I could probably, you know, I don't get to talk to him that much. Uh, I haven't talked to him in a while. I actually uh, email. I, I want to get on a live stream with him. But, you know, I, I wouldn't mind calling him my brother. It's just the way it is. You guys are awesome. I love you very much. Feel free to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you soon. Oh, baby,